Scientists also investigated the relationship between time and fire and dispelled another widely held misconception. When we watch a fire spreading through the forest, it may last for hours and hours, but it doesn't last hours and hours at a particular location with those big flames. It is the twigs, needles, grasses, and other fine fuels that allow forest fires to burn. But it doesn't take long for that material to be consumed. It's not that the big flames don't provide a lot of heat, it's just that they don't provide that heat over a very long time. So for example, the big flames come up uh, in some proximity to a, uh, to a house with wood walls, and we find that, yeah, it's, it's really intense, and certainly intense enough to cause human injury, but over the period of time that they last, on the order of 60 seconds, it's not sufficient to ignite that wall. We assume that a fire which burns humans quickly must also ignite wood quickly. But our intuitions are misleading. Humans are far more susceptible to injury from heat exposure. Because most crown fires consume their fuel in a given area in about a minute, they simply burn out before they can ignite most homes or structures. Other experiments revealed an equally surprising finding about fire and distance. Crown fires, even intense crown fires, that burn at a distance greater than 100 feet cannot provide enough radiant heat to ignite a structure. It gives us uh, an opportunity to change where that fire goes by somehow uh, changing the situation so that it doesn't meet the requirements for combustion.